Hey folks, welcome to snowy, snowy Nashville. Uh, it's been very cold here this week and we've had around about 10 centimeters or more of snow over the last four or five days. Um, so it's been pretty sort of unprecedented week. Um, if we weren't, if my wife and I weren't uh, already homebound by the COVID pandemic, uh, we couldn't really even get out to the shops or anything the last few days. So we've just been held up here in the house um, and well, somewhat enjoying the, the snow, um, but also it's been a little chilly here. Um, for this week's lesson, I thought we'd have a little look at a classic bluegrass fiddle kickoff. And this one is uh, played by, as played by Sam Bush on the Tony Rice album Manzanita. Of course, Tony Rice uh, passed away at the end of 2020, and um, he is ju was just such an amazing um, force in bluegrass music and was really one of the, um, the sounds that I first heard in bluegrass music that really drew me to it. So um, I thought whilst I've been revisiting some of his uh, music, it'd be a good idea to kind of teach this little intro, one of the classic intros as far as I'm concerned to, um, to one of the songs. I mean, I think it's Arguably, Manzanita is probably the, uh, the the most sort of widely, highly revered album of Tony Rice. And um, if you haven't listened to it, definitely check it out. But this is uh, a, a great uh, fiddle kickoff. Um, there's lots to get out of it. Um, Sam Bush is playing on the album. Um, he plays fiddle and mandolin. And there's also Ricky Skaggs playing fiddle um, and some Daryl Langer playing fiddle on that album too. So. But this one is Sam, and um, there's some great little licks in there. So I, I'll just play it to you a couple of times, and then we'll break it down. One, two, three. something like that there um, so much great stuff in there um, I might just play it to you with the metronome uh, at a little bit of a slower tempo so you can kind of um, if you're a quick learner or if you just want to sort of check out zoom in on some of those subtleties uh, this will be your chance to do that um, and then I'm just going to break it down um, phrase for phrase so got my metronome on here it's at about uh, 80 beats per minute so it's going to be a little slower than what I was just playing it. One, two, three, four. Um, I suppose we have the choice of either putting the, the metronome on the downbeat or the offbeat. I think I may actually try and sort of imagine it like a mandolin chop. That's, um, that's generally how I practice with the metronome with it, pretending that the metronome has the off chop like a mandolin. So one, two, three, four, one, two, slower even move it down here we're going to be at about 60 beats per minute here one two three Okay, so we're in the key of A. Um, and we're gonna be using lots of G naturals. Um, it's sort of a bluesy A. Um, this is, of course, 
the nine pound hammer if i hadn't uh if i hadn't introduced it already this is the intro to nine pound hammer um we're going to start off with this sort of classic um fiddle intro that kind of gives the band a chance to know where the first beat of the of the uh the tune is coming in so That little um, phrase there, we've got first finger on the D string with the open E, uh, sorry, open A string. And we've got that little rhythm there. We sort of come crashing down on the strings. And then once you're down there, you're just gonna do down, up, down, up really quickly. Whilst sort of staying on the string the whole time. We're not sort of jumping off again, but we're crashing down. And we wanna get a little bit of grit in there really. Some people play it almost, you know, emphasizing the crunch, you know, you could be really. So depending on how sort of crunchy you want to be with it, I sort of, I sort of just take those little strokes when I do it. One, two, three, four, that's like slow motion there. And then we're going to go second finger down uh, with the open A string still. And then crash down on the unison A here. So fourth finger on the D string and open A together. So we've got down. We're gonna do a little sort of hammer on there. So we're starting with the down bow. Our middle chunk with the second finger is gonna be on the down bow. And then our, um, our unison sort of where the first beat comes in, that is also a down bow. One, two, three. Three, four, one. Okay, our first little lick. Okay, so when we think about like what the function of a fiddle kick is or a, or a kick on any instrument um, for a song, a bluegrass song, um, it's really to sort of introduce part of the melody. Um, now the melody for Nine Pound Hammer. Well, well, the Nine Pound Hammer, it's a little too heavy. That's kind of, if I was really... So that's our melody. And what we've got so far is... So that's, that follows pretty closely. Um, just sort of embellishing it a little bit and making it a little more crunchy. And then we're going... So that's not something you'd sing. You wouldn't go, It is a little too heavy. <laughs> it's a little um, little trick singing there. But, you know, we embellish the melody on the fiddle a little bit in a way that you wouldn't as a singer. But the melody is still there. We're just kind of embellishing it. So it starts with fourth finger on the A string. We're going fourth, open, and then we're doing this little bluesy with the second finger. Two, one, open. Sort of heading towards that C sharp, but not really hitting it. Onto the D string, we've got one, two, four, one, two, two. Okay, what we've got so far? One, two, three, four, one. One pound hammer. Okay, and now we have like a classic bluegrass fiddle lick. It's highly embellished the melody at this point, but this is such a great fiddle lick um, that it's really great um, to learn. And you can slot this in in so many places um, when you're playing in, in a sort of bluesy A. Just that much, you know. Um, such a good lick that that's going to be super helpful for you so um 
So we're going to sort of lead into it a little bit. Open A, second finger on D. Then we come uh, the start of this sort of classic lick. So we've got one, two on the D string. Open. So a full scale up on the A string. Going over to the E string. Open one, two, one, two, one with the G natural. And then we've got open E, two, one, open on the A string. Again, sort of bluesy. And we're going to finish that off with. Now, Sam Bush kind of has a bit of a history um, in playing some Texas music, some Texas fiddle stuff. Um, I believe that when he was younger, he was really influenced by that on, on the fiddle. So um, in the Texas fiddling world, they do a lot of these sort of triplet runs. This sort of thing. So this little embellishment is really Texas-y in my ear. Um, with that up bow sort of leading. So we've got a little one, two, three slur there on the D string. Open one, open. Okay. Now this next little part, um, oh my gosh, highly um, interpretive of the melody there. I mean, the melody, well, roll on buddy, don't you roll so slow. And he's going. So we are kind of hitting the melody notes, but we're just adding a lot of sort of fiddle around it. <laughs> um, so first off, we've got three, one, open on the E string. Two, one, open, bluesy on the A string. And then we have this. Um, we're sort of sliding and we're kind of catching it, um, catching the slide with our fourth finger. Um, so it's kind of it's a little hard to get to get used to that little thing, but it's a great little lick as well. You know, we could use that um, in so many places in other sort of bluegrass um, areas. So. But the trick is, I think, never really to get to the C sharp. We're just kind of like we never really quite get there. We're just sliding up, and then we catch the fourth thing. Then we go back. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we've got six times. On the sixth time, we sort of. Sorry, three, two, three, open, one, two, one, open. Okay, now the ending. We've, we've sort of got this lick again, um, the great bluegrass lick that I was talking about before. We sort of go to do that, but then we add this. So again, we've sort of got the similar thing. 
That's what we did before, but this time we're going straight up to the third finger. Three, two, three. And then we're hitting the G natural. So we have that G sharp kind of creeping in there. And then we're G natural, two, one open. Three, two, one, open. Uh, now at the end here, um, this is just kind of like filling in. It's really, this is the space where the band is kind of vamping on A. Well, the singer might be sort of positioning him or herself towards the front of the stage to start singing the fiddle um kind of plays you know just some licks in a um to kind of fill that little space while something is happening um i think that's kind of how this particular sort of phrasing ended up happening in bluegrass music um is to do with this sort of live performance of it um and then we're just going So um, those little A licks there, some really great stuff. Open, two, so that's C sharp, and then we're gonna have first finger right back on the C natural. I love that. And then we're going back with the first finger to the B note. One, two, one, open. With it. Our second finger kind of hitting that C natural too. So two. Now that's that little Texasy trick again. One, two, three. So we've got. And then we're just working our way down. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Let's try that with the metronome again, nice and slowly. I want you to try and play along with me if you can. Once you've got it, we're gonna go right from the beginning to the end. One, two, three. Okay, the other thing to really keep in mind, of course, um, is thinking about our bowing. And Sam Bush is really, um, he has a really unique sort of style, stylistic approach with his bowing, I think. Um, he's often doing this shuffle bowing, which is called uh, Georgia Shuffle, um, which has this sort of heavy downstroke on the third beat, and the rest of the beats are up. So it's up, up, so that's one, two, down, up, 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 down, up. So it's, I want to put the metronome on, we can hear that. So one, two, so I've got the metronome on the downbeat now. One, two, down, up, one, two, down, up, one, two. Or if I put the metronome on the offbeat there, we've got, we've got, got to imagine it's a, it's a mandolin. One, two, three, four, one. This is that Georgia shuffle. One, two, three, four. So 
So practice that little leg with the Georgia shuffle. That's a great area to practice it. The up, up, down. So he's not doing that the whole way through, but he definitely sort of um, relaxes into that groove at, at certain points. So I would sort of say, let's have a look at the bowing hand. This is Georgia Shapo. We sort of break it at the end there. moments there I mean that's my interpretation of what he's doing I might not be exactly getting it but um, when I try to play like Sam Bush I just find myself going into that Georgia shuffle groove in the places that it makes sense and um, so I would challenge you to sort of find those little moments within that for yourself where you can really feel that up up down up 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 down particularly So after after I came out of um, yeah, it changes it changes each time I play it, but um, I really aim for that, you know, locking into that groove. Um, you know, for the for a good chunk of it um, in certain places where it makes sense. So um, have a have a bit of fun with that. Um, I hope that uh, that gives you a lot of ideas for for kicking off ch uh, songs um, for you know some great bluegrass licks. You know, I particularly like that little idea of using that first finger with the C natural. gives me lots of ideas to to kind of like work on that sound in different areas you know different keys yeah <laughs> there's some cool stuff there so um have a little play around with those little things you know pick out the the fun parts of it and um, try and move them around to different places. Um, and have a listen to Tony Rice's Manzanita album. Um, it's just one of the greatest bluegrass albums. All right, well, we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, and uh, stay warm.